It's officially the holidays at Honolulu Hale. Shaka Santa and Tutu Mele are now sitting perched atop the fountain. I went by to check it out this morning. Getting them up there, it's no easy task. Here's a look at the process and the history. City workers are like Santa's elves, getting him ready for the Honolulu city lights. The nearly two ton, 21 foot tall Shaka Santa arrived Tuesday morning. About 12 to 20 people come together to just get him in place. But this time, he didn't arrive in one piece. His foot hit a tree branch in transit and had to be glued back on. Not to worry, though, this Santa has been around since 1989 and is used to changes. When he was first sketched in design, he had a waving hand. But if you remember, Frank Fossey was our mayor at the time, and that mayor's symbol was the Shaka sign. So in honor of the mayor, Shaka sign it was, and it stuck. In 1994, a waving Mrs. Claus arrived, but even that soon changed. When we put her on the fountain next to Santa, her hand banged into his hand, and it just didn't look right. So the following year, we put her hand down. And then in 1998, the display got an Aloha-inspired makeover. Mrs. Claus became Tutu Mele. We changed her pantaloons and, and frock for a mu'u. -mu. We gave her a kukui nut lei, a hibiscus for her hair. We gave her a Hawaiian bracelet and a Hawaiian wedding band. Even Santa received a new coat of paint and got a tan. People from all over the world come annually to visit City Lights, but it's special to us here at home and our local families is why we do this. Today, the two sit atop the Honolulu Hale Fountain, greeting local families and those from around the world. And you can see Shaka Santa and Tutu Mele yourself. This Saturday is the opening night for Honolulu City Lights. Starting at 4 p.m., there will be cakey rides, souvenir booths, and food vendors. The official Christmas tree lighting ceremony kicks off at 6. Honolulu City Lights will be open December 7th through January 1st from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m.